Thank you, thank you. Good evening, friends. It's a great to see you all here. Welcome to the 17th annual Northern Roots uh, Evening Festival concert. It's great to see a packed house. We have shoehorned everybody that we possibly could uh, into the room, and that feels great. We did have to turn some people away, but that's okay, too, uh, because you guys are here, and you're the smart ones, because you bought your tickets early, and um, we do value an intelligent, intelligent audience, so that's the main thing. Um, all right, we're going to get right down to it. Uh, we've, we've, we've had like a, just a, a great day. We also had like a, um, a record uh, attendance for our daytime workshops. Um, so we've, we've had uh, really fun throughout the entire day. And we're going to kick off our evening concert with this uh, Scandinavian group, Triga. And if you were, obviously, if you were here during the day, you kind of got a taste of some of their music. Uh, and in the performer circle, we got to hear uh, some of their ensemble playing together, which was just truly exquisite. And um, the group kind of includes some, some very um, beautiful, interesting instruments that we don't often get here at the festival. Uh, we have uh, Yanif here at the end. He's playing uh, the bouzouki, which was actually originally a Greek instrument that's made its way into both uh, Celtic music, Irish music, but also into Scandinavian music. We also have uh, Anna here, who's here from Austria. She lives in Austria, but is over in the area for the month of January. She's here with the nickel harpa. She was on the fiddle panel today, gave fascinating background information on the nickel harpa, centuries of its, of its history. So it's a beautiful, uh, amazing uh, instrument. And then we also have, um, oh, a fiddle, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> But luckily, it's, uh, it's Eric Boodman, who has become a, a great um, friend of the festival also. Eric was here a couple of years ago. Eric's from Montreal, a fantastic French-Canadian player, in addition to his skill uh, playing this repertoire. And uh, he was at, in the, at the festival and, and played as part of the evening program a couple of years ago. Again, uh, I, I got to hear these guys up close at the Performer Circle just uh, at the end of the afternoon, and it's exquisite music. Please make them welcome, Triga.
Thank you so much. We are so thrilled to be here. So we are Triga. And what you just heard, the first tune was a lovely old melody from northern Germany from the 18th century. And we combined it with a Swedish tune, as Lang Polska, which I personally have played a lot for dance. So um, it always makes me happy to play this tune. And I'm so happy that today, Yaniv Jakobi on Buzuki and Eric Woodman on the fiddle are joining me for these Scandinavian tunes. And the next set are also old Swedish tunes for dancing. No, that's not right. We have another set before. <laughs> <laughs> so the next tune we are playing is a very special tune for me. I um, learned that one from Johan Hedin, who is a fantastic Nickelhopper player in Sweden at the Swedish Folk Festival. And uh, you have to imagine it was a hot summer day and we were like in this nice, small, old wooden village at the lake in Sweden and he was teaching this lovely tune. And yeah, I'm so happy to play it now. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much for having us here at this festival. And once again, we are Triga, 
We also released our first EP just some weeks ago, so you may also find the QR code for our um, recordings online at the counter. And now we are going to play um, a set with three dance tunes uh, from the 18th century from Sweden.
so beautiful. There's just there's moments in that music you just think that it embodies the concept of being otherworldly, like like nothing else. Um, I mentioned earlier, uh, Eric's a big uh, player of French Canadian music. He's the co-host for the session tomorrow downtown. We have a series of afternoon sessions. Um, in the middle of the afternoon, we have a French Canadian session, and uh, Eric's going to be hosting that with uh, with Becky Becky Tracy. So our next performa, performer, uh, Amanda Whitman, has a long history with the Northern Roots Festival. Uh, Amanda's performed here several times uh, in different co configurations in the past. She was also kind of part of like um, um, a committee, inner circle of people, when we were kind of just sort of trying to shape uh, the festival, kind of getting it off the ground. She had a big role in that. And um, she also uh, has done a lot of work with another person close to the festival over the years, Tony Barrand. And one of the really um, important aspects of the festival for me this year was a workshop that Amanda did, uh, which was uh, showcasing a portion of the collection of songbooks that Tony, uh, Tony's family has given to the BMC. It's part of this concept of creating a Tony Barron library. A lot of Tony's material went to the uh, Library of Congress and some of it went to the Vermont Folklife Center. A lot of his songbooks have come here and Amanda's the one who's could have taken on the job of organizing the books, cataloging them, and making them available as a resource for local singers to help kind of develop their own repertoires. So. <laughs> Amanda also did really important work with Tony starting uh, the, the, the regular Brattleboro pub sing, uh, which became very quickly a thriving and very uh, appreciated um, part of our traditional music calendar. That, uh, that sing continues uh, third Saturdays downtown. Um, and Amanda is also involved in helping uh, run other um, education classes here and events at the BMC in, in traditional song. So really has just made such a great contribution uh, to our singing community here in Brattleboro. Um, I'll also say that you know, over the course of all this time, I've also gotten to see Amanda kind of grow and kind of, uh, kind of come into her own as a performer. So wonderful to have her here to do um, a program of her solo songs. Please make her welcome. A handsome young squire near Tamworth did dwell. He courted a lady and he loved her right well. The day was appointed for their wedding day and a farmer was appointed to give the bride away. Oh, but when she saw the farmer, she thought him she'd like to wed. So instead of getting married, she went to her bed. Instead of getting married, she went to her bed. Then thoughts of the farmer came into her head. Coat, waistcoat, and breeches this lady put on. And then she went to hunting with her dog and her gun. To see this young farmer, it was her intent. So straight to his fields, she so lovingly went. It's off time she fired, oh, but nothing did she kill. Till at length this young farmer came into his fields. To see this young farmer, it was her intent. So straight up to him, she so lovingly went. I thought you'd have been at the wedding, she cried, to wait upon the squire and to give him his bride. Oh no, cried the farmer, the truth I must tell. I can't give her away, cause I want her myself. The lady was pleased when she heard it so bold, so she gave him a glove all embroidered with gold. She told him that she'd picked it up as she come along, as she come a-hunting with her dog and her gun. 
The lady went home with a heart full of love, and then she let it out that she had lost her glove. And whosoever shall find it and bring it back to me, I vow and declare his bride I will be. The farmer was pleased when he heard of the news, so straight to the lady he so lovingly goes. He says, lady, dear lady, I have found your glove. Now would you be so kind as to grant me your love? Oh, my love's already granted, the lady replied. I love the sweet breath of the farmer, she cried. I'll tend to our dairy and the milking of our cow, while my jolly handsome farmer goes whistling to plough. Now when they got married, she talked of the fun, how she hunted the farmer with her dog and her gun. And now that I have him so fast in my snare, I'll love him forever, I vow and declare. <laughs> That song was, of course, from our good friends, John Roberts and Tony Barrand. Tony suggested I learn that song when I told him that I was looking for a ballad in which the woman does not get killed or robbed or dumped. He said, how about dog and gun? <laughs> so I learned it. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> this next song is also in that category. Um, uh, I guess I would call that the empowerment category, perhaps. I'm not sure. Um, and um, so this song comes to us from a man named Bert Lloyd, who was one of the key early figures in the British folk revival. And Bert often asked his friend Alf Edwards to accompany him on English concertina. And um, Alf was a classically trained concertinist, but he went right along and did a lot of performing and recording with Bert on folk, with folk music, um, and thus inspired a whole generation of singers to attempt to accompany themselves on concertina as well, as I will now demonstrate. Like this. Much better. All right. Cold and raw, the winds do blow, bleak in the morning early, and all the fields are covered in snow, and winter comes severely. As I was walking on my way, I met a father. She made my mouth to water. I asked this maid, where was she going up in the morning early? She answered to the next market town, her purpose to sell her barley. Well, in my pockets as well I knew, half a sovereign lay square. I said, put your journey out of your mind, and I'll bargain for your barley. Half a sovereign would buy delight, and I will love you dearly. If you would stay with me all night and be gone in the morning early. If I should stay all night, with you, and we made a young kid together. You'd be gone ere the nine months end, then where would I find a father? I said that she would be my queen, and I would never wrong her. She said she knew I'd married 
been full seven years or longer. She said, young man, take my advice and do your business squarely. Keep your money for your wife at home and some other shall buy my barley. songs throughout history have been a powerful vehicle for political awareness and social change. This next song is by an American who found herself at the age of 21 in the middle of the British folk revival with Burt Lloyd and Alf Edwards and Ewan McCall and a number of others. But before she went to England, Peggy Seeger in 1950 spent a memorable and mischievous year at the Putney School. <laughs> so I like to think of her as one of ours. <laughs> Peggy's now 89 years old, and she is still writing songs for social change. And she recorded this one in 2021. It has a little bit of a refrain. Feel free to join in if you'd like. How I long for peace among the peoples and the nations. How I long to halt the plunder of the wonders of creation. Oh, how I long for peace. I'll never understand how the sisters, wives, and mothers cannot stop the slaughter of the husbands, sons, and brothers. Oh, how I long for peace. There never will be peace till we all abandon fighting as the way to deal with problems that prevent us from uniting. Oh, how I long for peace. The profits made from war, there's few that can resist them. Hypocrisy and greed control the lifeblood of our system. Oh, how I long for peace. The world can wait no longer for political permission. Sit down, stand up, do anything to make the whole world listen. Oh, how I long for peace among the peoples and the nations. How I long to halt the plunder of the wonders of creation. Oh, how I long for peace. How many of you learned a new instrument over the pandemic or, or started? Raise your hands, I wanna see them. Good for you. I did too. So, I'm just gonna check my tuning. Almost learned tuning. So Keith mentioned the Brattleboro Pub Sing. This next song, I believe I heard for the first time at the Brattleboro Pub Sing a while back. And it's, um, it's a wonderful song by um, a modern folk songwriter named Nancy Kerr. 
who was in England. Um, and I've just been thinking so much today about how we in our community are so lucky. Just being here in the way that we share what we know with each other, we inspire each other, we hand what we know down to the next generation so that our traditions can get passed on. And this song just sums it all up for me. So there is a chorus, and I know many of you in the audience are singers, so I hope you'll sing along even if you don't think you're a singer. Um, if you don't know it already, the words to the chorus are, hand me down some changing rhyme, some embraces never bind. Hand me down your dancing lines, then I'll know I'm home. So we'll start with the chorus. Hand me down some changing rhyme, some embraces never bind. Hand me down your dancing line, and I'll know I'm home, then I'll know I'm home. Hand me down some changing rhyme, some embraces never bind. Hand me down your dancing line, and I'll know I'm home, then I'll When I arrived in this old town, hand me down, oh, hand me down. When I arrived in this old town, some 40 voices, they gathered round, and I was coming home, I was coming home. Hand me down some changing rhyme, some embraces never bind. Hand me down. Some go ahead, some stay behind. Hand me down, oh, hand me down. Some go ahead, some stay behind. We navigate by the souls we find. And I am coming home, I am coming home. Hand me down, some changing rhyme. Some embraces never bind. Hand me down. Your dancing line, and I'll know I'm home, then I'll know I'm home. I'm navigating by one more star. Hand me down, oh, hand me down. I'm navigating by one more star it's shining bright to show i've come this far and i am coming home i am coming home hand me down some changing rhyme some embraces never bind hand me down your dancing line and i'll know i'm home then i'll know i'm home hand me down some changing rhyme some embraces never find. Hand me down your dancing line, and I'll know I'm home. Then I'll know I'm home. Hand me down some changing rhyme. Some embraces never find. Hand me down your dancing line, and I'll know I'm home. Then I'll know I'm home. Amanda Whitman, so lovely. Uh, it just it feels so great that Northern Roots can be a place for musicians to kind of grow and uh, even kind of find their way as performers. Um, another example, even our stagehand tonight is a young man who's expressed an interest in show business and um, 
I explained to him that if he was serious about this, he had to start at the bottom and work his way up. So here he is, moving chairs. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big hand to Jan Falke, our stage gentleman. <laughs> and Carol Compton, yeah. Uh, it's great also uh, when we have the chance to include uh, other forms of traditional dance in our program. Last year we had uh, some French ball folk. Uh, that was lovely. Uh, this year we get to showcase uh, some Shanos Irish dancing. And Shanos is literally old style. A lot of us, uh, when we think of Irish dancing, we now have the associations of the competitive Irish dancing or the dancing that you see in river dance, which is the very high kicks and the straight arms and the big stumps. Shanos dancing is a very different uh, genre, a much more restrained, kind of refined, very beautifully uh, subtle kind of dancing. And that's what uh, is featured in the dancing of uh, Jackie O'Reilly and Re Rebecca McGowan. And they're going to be accompanied by a couple of Oh, you're going to dance at the beginning? I'll get to you later. Uh, <laughs> we also have Dan Accardi over here uh, on the accordion, and another old friend of the Northern Roots Festival, Armand, who has also been here in several configurations. Take your moment now, Armand. So, you know, Armand is, is a great, uh, great fiddle player, a great singer, he's a violin maker, he's what you might consider over-talented, uh, <laughs> and now he's going to be dancing as well, so, for the love of God. All right, please make them welcome, eight feet tall. Stage hand, Benedict Gagliardi, uh, who is someone that I'm also in a duo with, the Vox Hunters. We've been here as a duo in previous years, but this is our first collab <laughs> with other bands. So, this is a song called Katie Cruel. I'm sure at least some people in the crowd know it, so please sing along. Yeah? Yeah, cool. Here we go. <clears throat> when first I came to town, they called me the Rove and Jewel. Now they've changed their tune, they call me Katie Cruel. Oh, a diddle all the day, oh, the diddle all night, all day. Oh, that I was where I would be, then should I be where I am not. Here I am where I must be, where I would be, I cannot go. A diddle all the day, oh, the diddle all night, all day. I came to town, they brought me the bottles plenty. Now they've changed their tune, they bring me the bottles empty. Oh, a diddle all the day, oh, the diddle all night, all day. Oh, that I was where I would be, then should I be where I am not? Here I am where I must be, where I would be, I cannot go. A diddle all the day, oh, the diddle all night, all day.
I love and I know who does love me. I know where I'm going and I know who's going with me. Oh, it didn't love a day. Oh, it didn't love I all day. Oh, that I was where I would be, then should I be where I am not? Here I am where I must be, where I would be, I cannot go. It didn't love a day. Oh, it didn't love I all day. As bright as coal and lips as dark as cherry And tis her delight for to make the young girls merry Oh, I didn't love the day Oh, the didn't love light all day Oh, that I was where I would be Then should I be where I am not Here I am where I must be Where I would be I cannot go I didn't love the day Oh, it didn't love light all day I'll go through the boggy mire, straight way down the road, and to my heart's desire. Oh, I didn't love the day, oh, I didn't love light all day. Oh, that I was where I would be, then should I be where I am not? Here I am where I must be, where I would be, I cannot go. I didn't love the day, oh, I didn't love light all day. That I was where I would be, then should I be where I am not? Here I am where I must be, where I would be, I cannot go. I didn't love the day, oh, the didn't love I know day. Oh, that I was where I would be, then should I be where I am not? Here I am where I must be, where I would be, I cannot go. I didn't love the day, oh, the didn't love I know day.
everybody. Thank you kindly. Uh, yeah, so we're at Vital. We're super delighted to be here. This is our first ever Northern Roots. Um, Y'all have been a great crowd, and all the other performances so far have been fantastic, uh, and there's only more to come. Uh, just again for the quick uh, recap, blah, blah, blah. Thanks to everybody. Thanks to Jan, that beautiful young man who is just so excited about the music, wants to make it all possible. Thanks so much to Keith, of course, um, the big man at the prow, uh, and all of you for supporting uh, folk and traditional music and song and dance. It really doesn't happen without you. Uh, we do have one more for you. Um, it's it's going to be weird. It's going to be great. Uh, and then we're gone. <laughs> that's all. That's all. Thanks again so much, folks. Uh, have a good one. Cheers. We also have merchandise for sale. Some of us have mortgages. It would be great if you bought some merchandise. Thank you. <laughs> play Irish music and you know uh, a jig and a reel that kind of sounds similar, then you'll have fun with this. <laughs> don't, t don't try to count too hard. So that was an amazing first half, and I was, I was just speaking to the people playing in the second half, and I just said, please don't blow it, because you know, the first half was so good, and they've promised second half is going to be fantastic. Um, I, I just wanted to say again, uh, so tomorrow we have uh, our sessions downtown at the River Garden Marketplace. Uh, we have a series of three events. We have the pub sing starting at 1 o'clock, and then uh, the pub sing hosted by Amanda, and uh, Benedict Gagliardi, who was out here briefly uh, in that last set. 
Then we have the French Canadian session hosted by Eric, the fiddle player with the, with the opening group, the Scandinavian group, co-hosted by Becky Tracy. And then we have the Irish session at the end of the afternoon, and that's gonna be hosted by the two players from that last group, Armand on fiddle and, um, and Dan on accordion. So that's a really, really fun series of events down there. So I hope to see a bunch of you down there either playing or just enjoying yourselves. Um, we have a th pretty thriving session scene in general. I mentioned the, uh, the, the monthly uh, pub sing. Um, there are lots of other sessions. Great Irish uh, session scene. Um, there's a, a very strong session in Walpole on Thursdays. But more recently in Brattleboro, uh, we've had a great Monday night session uh, down at the Collective on Elliott Street from 6 to 8. And um, that's a session that's really kind of, kind of come into its own in the last few months. And uh, two young players who have kind of m make frequent appearances there who have become stalwarts of that Irish scene and the one in Walpole are our next players. Jake and Cedar, and um, uh, it's, been, it's been great. It's really been great having them part of the scene. Once again, uh, I, would, I, I first saw, met Jake at a, in the olden days, probably 20 years ago, there was an, another session in Putney at a bar called McClements. I don't think McClements exists under that name now, but for a while there was a, an Irish session there, and Jake would uh, periodically come and play a tune or two over the course of the evening. And, um, but at this point, Jake has just kind of flourished into a phenomenal Irish uh, flute player. And Cedar also, who I sort of knew originally from the contradance scene, has really sort of just dug in deep um, into, into the Irish music and uh, has really kind of come so far. So a great delight to have, um, have flute and fiddle, what, a, what my friend Brian O'Donovan used to call pure drop, just kind of having like uh, the sound of kind of these old instruments just playing uh, unison melodies. So please make them wake. welcome Jake and Cedar.
Thank you. That first tune was called The Morning Thrush, the great piping tune. We followed it up with a tread reel called Patty Ryan's Dream. Next, we're going to play a waltz written by Billy McComiskey, great accordion player from down in the Baltimore area. It's called The Diamond. Here we go with The Diamond. So we, uh, we are honored to have Keith come and join us to uh, accompany our next few tunes. So this will be a set of jigs. They're pretty common session tunes. The Banks of the Newfoundland and a couple other common session tunes after it. Uh, we hope you enjoy it. The second one is called Brendan Tonras, if you're really wondering. And then the third, the third one is The Lark on the Strand.
Thank you. I just got one more set of tunes for you here. This is a set of two reels. The first is a tune. Uh, it's called the Porthole of the Kelp. And the Kelp was a ship that sunk off the coast of England. And this, I guess, the, this tune written by Bobby Casey. And I guess his understanding is his cousin was diving and found the porthole of this sh ship and brought it back and got it cleaned up. And it's like hanging on his wall. And this tune, Bobby Casey was over there playing tunes and came up with this tune sitting under this porthole of the kelp, and that's where the name comes from. We follow that up with a tune written by a fantastic Irish fiddle player, Tommy Peoples, written for his cousin, Patrick Peoples, who had black hair. It's called Black Pats. The late Tommy Peoples. Check him out if you've never heard him before, if you like Irish music. Thank you. 
Jake and Cedar, lovely stuff, lovely, lovely. So uh, we've been doing this thing for a while. Uh, we, somewhere along the line, we have this concept of having an act every year in our show that was a, uh, a grouping of people who don't normally play together, a grouping of local people who get together to kind of work on some theme, some musical project. And uh, this year's Trattleboro uh, is, was spearheaded by uh, Laurel, Laurel Swift, who... <laughs> Laurel Swift, originally from Leicester, England, and uh, a, a relatively new uh, Brattleboro resident as of the last year or a year and a half or so? Yes. Eight months, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so uh, yet another wonderful addition uh, to our community. Uh, Laurel's a great um, singer, uh, a dancer, and, and fiddle player, and teacher, also involved in, in, in doing some teaching here at the BMC right now. So uh, we're so lucky to have Laurel um, uh, with us in the community. Joined by Lissa Schneckenberger, another person no stranger to Northern Roots. <laughs> also a great singer and fiddle player and teacher, um, has had legions of students and a very influential player, and great to have her back. And uh, another relatively new um, member of the community, Leo here, um, uh, also sort of new to the, to the broader Celtic music scene. Leo's kind of more comes from the old time scene, but has, is happily dipping, dipping their toe into, uh, into this project, which is um, the, on the theme of kind of English fiddle playing. Uh, obviously, you know, Laurel bringing a, a, a wealth of that music uh, with her. So uh, we have this uh, intriguing fiddle trio of English tunes. So please make welcome. Uh, this year's Trattleboro. <laughs>
Thanks for having us. Yeah, so let's say and um, Leo here, and um, it's great to get us to do a thing. It's so fun. So those were two jigs. Uh, Rogues March is the first one, and that's uh, that's kind of one of my go-to favorite Kaylee tunes. Uh, the second one is called "An Old Man Is a Bed Full of Bones," um, <laughs> which is a great tune title. Uh, the A part was in I don't know one of those books like Playford or something, and the B part I made up because uh, there was only an A part, and I thought it needed a, a buddy. Uh, we're going to play another one of my... So, yeah, the, like, the English repertoire, there's not so many reels. There's more jigs and hornpipes and polkas. And the next one is a hornpipe, which, if you want to dance, it's a step hop. Um, and this is another pun. It is called the Literary Dustman. So the next tune is one that I wrote um, in honor of one of the English nation's greatest plants, the bramble, um, <laughs> which gets everywhere but has tasty fruit, so it's okay. Um, so yeah, this is, and so one of my favorite kinds of tunes are three, two. So rather than just being like, rather than just being like, two beats in a bar, it's got one E and a two E and a three E and one E and a two and a three. Yes, no, maybe, yes, <laughs> no, maybe. So, um, yeah, there's, there's kind of a whole category of these tunes, and they almost became obsolete, but not quite. So people are dancing to them again now. So, yeah, this is one I wrote called King Bramble. <laughs> Thank you. 
yeah, we've got one more for you. Um, da -da 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 -da. If you want to see Leo play more, there's a great Cajun two-step night in Greenfield, which they run, so you should totally go to that, and many other things. Um, you can see Lissa play everywhere. <laughs> um, I don't have many gigs yet, so if anybody wants to give me work, I'm here. <laughs> um, but I am teaching, uh, um, filling in for Louisa Engel's kid class here at the Music Centre. So if you know any young people who want to come and learn tunes with me, send them along. There's loads of great people already in that group. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I arrived here in slightly dubious circumstances in the spring. And I've been made so welcome in this town. It's been really lovely. So, well, I'm going to dedicate the last tune to just Brattle Breath, a room full of great people. Um, it doesn't have a name yet, so if anyone's got a name suggestion, um, at the moment it's called Number Three. <laughs> so here's our last one. Thanks for listening. Beautiful. All right, will you please welcome the whole gang back out on stage for our finale? Before we get into the finale, I'll just say, um, you know, we, we've, we're, we feel so proud to have had such a great run of so many uh, Northern Roots uh, concerts. And many of them can be found online uh, thanks to the great, diligent uh, video work of Ray C. Bolt here with us again tonight. Uh, also, um, our stalwart sound man back there in the corner, uh, Al Stockwell, give him a big hand. Uh, 
And of course, a huge thank you to the BMC who do so much uh, for the festival and for so many other aspects of traditional music now in town, and specifically the very, very hard work of Carol Compton, Gay Foster, and Solveig Gannon. Thank, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. All right, so join us for the uh, singing of our traditional ending song, Rolling Home. to man the capstan, see the cables are running clear. Heave away and with a will, boys, for New England we will steer. Here we go. Rolling home, rolling home, rolling home across the sea. Rolling morning with our sails full of snow clay your sheets and sway your halyards swing around and let her go Like a monsoon in the springtime, filling out each well-known sail. Shore of old New England when the dawn. 